Hello friends, welcome back to DigiTalk. In this session, we are going to learn how we can upgrade WebLogic to the current version 14.1.2.0. Okay, and along with that, we will understand the complete end-to-end -end action plan for the upgrade. Along with that, there are a few uh, utilities that has been introduced in the current WebLogic 14.1.2.0. Okay, for smooth migration of your applications. Okay, so we will discuss about that as well. Okay, so uh, the first thing we will discuss about the upgrade path, like from which version to which current version you can upgrade the web logic. Okay, uh, you cannot upgrade from the older versions to the directly to the current 14.1.2 version. So there is a certification matrix or the supporting path. Okay, that you should have to understand. Okay, and once that is uh, clear to you, then you can decide. Okay, what is the upgrade path for your uh, web logic server? Right. So the first thing, as I said, is upgrade path. So let us talk about that one okay so uh, very first thing if you are using any 12.1.2.4 versions or the older versions then you cannot upgrade directly to 14.1.2.0 okay it is a two-stage process what does it mean if you are on any versions prior to the 12.2.1.4 that means 12.2.1.3 12.2.1.2 12.2.1.1 or any of the older version that means prior to your 12.2.1.4 okay then you cannot upgrade to 14.1.2.0 directly okay you can't go like that one so first you have to upgrade it to the supported version and only after that you can able to upgrade and what are the supported versions which is 14.1.1.0 and 12.2.1.4 so these are the two supported versions okay from where you can directly upgrade to 14.1.2.0 if you are using any of the older versions which is prior to 12.2.1.4 then it is a two stage process okay i am reiterating that one if you are using any of the older version prior to 12.2.1.4 you cannot upgrade directly to 14.1.2.0 you should first upgrade either to 12.2.1.4 or 14.1.1.0 and then you can upgrade to 14.1.2.0 so this is the two stage process okay now it is up to you Either you can first upgrade to 12.2.1.4 or you can upgrade to 14.1.1.0. Okay, it's your choice. Now, once it is upgraded, then you can go for the 14.1.2.0. So, this is the very first thing that you should have to understand what is the upgrade path for the web logic server. So, net net, it is very clear if you are on 12.2.1.4 or 14.1.1.0 versions, you can directly upgrade to 14.1.2.0. But if you are using any of the prior version of 12.2.1.4, then you have to first upgrade to either 12.2.1.4 or 14.1.1.0 and then you can upgrade to 14.1.2.0. That means it is a two stage process. Okay, so this is very important to understand now the upgrade path is clear to you okay so now let us talk about the upgrade process of the action plan so as of now i am showing you just the action plan okay the high level action plan and then next videos i am going to show you with the executions as well okay so the very first thing we have to uh, install the supported jdk okay and in 14.1.2.0 the supported jdks are 17 and 21 Okay, so that means either you have to install the JDK 17 or you have to install the JDK 21. This is the very first requirement. Right. Once this is done, once you have installed the certified JDK, the second you have to install the web logic in the new Oracle home. Okay, for example, you are going to upgrade to 14.1.2.0, then you need to install it in a separate location. Okay, for example, uh, you have some existing locations like OPT and it's less you have a certain kind of a location for the existing middleware home okay then this need to be changed right this is the old one so you need to install your uh, new 12.2.1.2.0 binaries okay in the new middleware home right so that is the second step so once these two steps are completed third is to shut down the application and back up the middleware existing middleware home and domain okay but before that there is an important step in between check your applications and undeploy if necessary okay so what does it mean there could be possibility that your applications are using some of the uh, apis or some of the libraries that is unsupported in your current 14.12 version okay if that is the case then you are going to get the warnings or errors during the upgrade because your application will not able to upgrade to the current versions okay in many situations or most of the time you don't need to touch your applications because whenever we do the upgrade okay we don't worry about the applications we directly upgrade the 
uh, weblogic server and it automatically take care during the upgrade of the domain okay but specifically when you have a, a large change in your uh, web logic installers or the, in the new versions okay then you have to make sure that your applications are compatible you may be using certain kind of apis which is supported by the older jdk okay and or the or some of the older functionalities which has now been depreciated in the new version so you need to check your code as well right so it is said that it is not necessary for the weblogic server applications to be undeployed before upgrading the domain in most cases weblogic server applications can be run without modifications in the new weblogic 1412 application environment and then you do note that if you use depreciated or removed apis in the application you might encounter the warning or exceptions at the runtime right now for how to identify that if my code whatever the ear file or or the var file library jar file that i have deployed if it is containing some of the old depreciated apis how we can identify that one so for that now in 14.12 oracle has introduced two tools that you can utilize to identify such kind of a code which is still running on the older versions so one tool for the first tool is the web logic migration analysis tool this one and second is open rewrite recipes these are the two utilities that has been introduced in 14.1.2.0 okay specifically related with your applications to identify if you are running any of the depreciated functionalities apis or the features which will not be compatible in your 14.1.2.0 okay so this new web logic migration analysis tool is a command line utility okay so this is a command and line utility okay which is bundled with the weblogic installer that identified apis in weblogic application that have been removed or no longer used in weblogic server so this is small utility okay you can run it from the command line and you can with the command line you can specify your var file or er file in the command line okay and then it will automatically scan your file and then it show you all the uh, details okay now second is open rewrite recipe so now once you have identified that some of your files which is containing the old apis the open rewrite recipe is to simplify migrating your weblogic application to new versions of weblogic in java so this open weblogic open rewrite recipe implement a rewrite module that perform common tasks when migrating the weblogic application to new version of the weblogic in java so that means this utility is to identify your application whichever is using the old uh, function functionalities or apis or depreciated uh, functionalities with the help of open rewrite according to the documentation it help you to migrate your old application to the new application according to 14120 versions okay so i haven't tested it yet okay i will test it and then i am going to post on videos on this as well soon okay and uh, once it is done once you have identified okay what all are the applications that is using the old depreciated utilities okay and that has been converted then you can shut down your applications and take the complete backup of your existing middleware and domain okay so what you can do in this this uh, this kind of activity you can perform anytime okay so this should be the part of your pre upgrade activities right because you have to ensure that your code is up and uh, ready with you okay and there is, if there is changes required in your code or not before the upgradation so you can uh, put this task under the pre upgrade utility uh, uh, pre upgrade task okay and you can perform this activity anytime okay so now uh, now next week you can shut down your existing domain and take the complete backup okay for your existing middleware home and domain these two important directories okay and once this is done you have to go for the reconfiguration of the domain so now what is reconfiguration so reconfiguration okay let me clear this as well okay so reconfiguration is is uh, uh, for reconfiguration we have a utility that again come with a web logic okay which is called the reconfiguration utility which is a uh, small file a script okay that we use for the upgradation of your domain okay so once you run the reconfiguration utility okay it will ask you for certain details and importantly we have to specify the location of our domain so wherever you have a, your domain you have to select the location of the domain inside the reconfiguration utility okay and once you will submit okay it is going to take some time to upgrade your domain based on the uh, the size of your domain and the kind of a files that you have inside your domain okay so it will update the weblogic core infrastructure okay and then along with that it is going to upgrade the domain version so these can two kind of activity this reconfiguration wizard is going to perform for you
okay so now in a nutshell what we are doing here we have installed the web logic in a new oracle home 14.2 right and this reconfiguration wizard need to be run from the new web logic domain sorry new web logic oracle home okay and when you run the wizard you have to select the existing domain right so what is happening here your existing domain is going to be wired with the new middleware home right because this reconfiguration wizard we run from the new oracle home okay and we select the existing domain so it rewired your domain with the new middleware home okay and it upgrade the web logic core infrastructure which contain your admin server manage server gms data source other resources and then it upgrade the domain version and then we have to restart the services so this is the net net action plan that we have to follow for the upgradation of your web logic server to 14.2 oh okay and now one more interesting thing i will uh, tell you okay this is specifically officially in the oracle documentation if you go here okay it is mentioned here as well what is it saying if you up your pre upgrade environment version is pre 12.2.1.4.0 then you will sorry not this one this i have explained to you initially path if you are upgrading from version 12.2.1.4 to version 14.1.2.0 that means if you are currently on the 12.2.1.4 version and you are going to upgrade to 14.1.2 version okay then reconfiguration wizard only need to be run when the location of jdk and oracle home is changed as part of upgrade if the oracle home and jdk binaries are in same location reconfiguration is not required so that means if you are upgrading from 12.2.1.4 to 14.1.2.0 then even this reconfiguration wizard is not required to be run only condition is that you are going to utilize your existing jdk and existing middleware home so what does it mean in this explan what we have discussed we have to install this jdk and this oracle home in a new location correct now there could be a chance for example if i say my current jdk is inside inside uh, inside the u01 and jdk and my uh, middleware home is u01 data and my uh, middleware okay suppose this is my existing infra uh, directories okay this is what jdk now traditionally when we go with the traditional way of the upgrading okay what we do we install the jdk and then we install the middleware in a new locations right so now if you are going in a in a way that where you are going to uh, install in same location so that means now we are with suppose jdk 17 and we are with the web logic 14 1 2 dot o okay so what you can do in this case you can take the backup of this one like simple move this to dot 12214 okay similarly this you can uh, again move this jdk to dot 12214 okay and after that you can create the same directories again u01 and jdk and mkdir u01 data middleware okay and here you can install the 14.1.2.0 and here you can install the jdk 17 so what happened in that case we have completely removed the existing setup and we have utilized the same directory structure right to install the new jdk and to install the new middle uh, middleware home which is 14.1.2 so that means our jdk and our middleware home directory has not been changed we are utilizing the same correct so in this situation according to the documentation if you are going to retain your oracle home and jdk home directories then even this reconfiguration is not required so you just need to install the supported jdk and supported oracle home in just in the same location and after that you can just restart the services
and your domain will automatically rewired to 4012. Okay, but I haven't tested it. This is as per the documentation. Okay, so I am going to test everything. All the scenarios. This is the first traditional scenario. We always go with this approach. If you would like to go with this approach, okay, and if you are on 12214 and you want to go with this one, so I will test this approach as well and I will post the videos very soon. Right. So, this is the net net action plan and the upgrade path for the 1412. Oh, thank you.